welcome to yet another episode of the heck is that? Well, it's, uh, a bit, it's a bit smaller than the guitars that I'm used to. I don't know. Um, it's only, I mean, it's got fewer strings as well. Why is that one so thin? And they look like they're made of some sort of plastic. I don't know, man. Um, it's really short. What the heck is that? I don't know if I can... Let's let's see let's see if it gents, shall we? Um, I'll need a nice heavy pick. Yeah, that, that one will do. That, that should that should help me gent. Okay. Um, which shall we go for? Bleed. That's not quite gentle. Well, that, there's a, that's the lowest note. Okay, for gent we have to play the lowest note. So, let's see. This is really not doing it for me. Um, right, okay. I'll have to do some research then. Turns out this isn't a guitar at all. Apparently, this is a classical ukulele. Uh, this is the the kmise 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 kmise. I have no idea. They've clearly left out a vowel. There needs to be a vowel after the K. Maybe it's a silent K. Maybe it's mise. Who knows? It's a classical ukulele. Tiger Flame Okume ukulele, four strings, apparently this is correct, I mean, I prefer eight, but okay, four. Um, and this is quite well put together for um, a rather affordable instrument. Currently you can get it for £52.99 on the old Amazon, not that I would promote Amazon. Just, just to make that clear, I think Jeff has enough mun muns already. Um, but yes, it is very nicely put together. It, uh, if you look at that, the, the, the frets are rounded off very nicely at the edge. There's no sharp fret ends at all on either side. Um, the tuners are, are very good and it stays in tune very well. Um, the nut is nice and flush with the fretboard. Uh, there's, there's nothing that sort of sticks out anywhere. There aren't any flaws in the wood at all. And look at that. It's really, that's a really nice pattern. Really nice grain. Um, and really cute little whale inlay. On the 12th fret. Another nice thing about this, because it's a slightly larger ukulele, classical ukulele, it's um, it connects to the body at the 14th fret, so that gives you access to some nice high notes. So let's see what it actually sounds like. I'm not going to see what it sounds like. What a silly thing to say. Let's hear what it sounds like.
play a wrong note on this ukulele, it sounds terrible. Therefore, yeah, I wouldn't recommend buying it. All the wrong notes sound bad. So, that is the Kumeza. Classical ukulele, tiger flame, kume ukulele, four string uke with gig bag, tuna strap, capo, picks, clean cloth, songbook, rhythm shaker, 26 inch tenor. It's a good instrument. But if you're looking for a, a super extended range gent monster, then, well, this isn't one. And so I wouldn't recommend it if that's what you want. If you want to play progressive metal well, in really low tunings, this is precisely what you don't want. Because that is the lowest note that it does. That's, that's, not, that's not very brutal, unfortunately. Um, but other than that, it's a fine instrument. And, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this episode of The Heck Is That? Then please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment under the video expressing your absolute delight with the content that I have posted on this channel. And maybe leave a suggestion. What else would you like me to review? Would you like me to do a video about this very cheap piano that I got for free. Or would you like me to review anything off this pedal board? There are some interesting things on there. We've got, uh, we've got a gate and a compressor and, and some overdrives and d a delay and a reverb and a phaser and a wah-wah. Do you want me to review a Wawa? Do you, do you want me to, I could I could play with a Wawa for a few minutes. Anyway, um, I've got some more guitars as well. Uh, it might be interesting. You know, leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. If, uh, or you could you could leave something really hurtful, like delete your channel, stop making videos, go away. You know. I'm, I'm open to any form of constructive feedback. <laughs> Please don't write any of those things. Right, well, we figured out earlier that it doesn't gent very well, but let's see if let's see if it shreds. Um, some little sweep picking licks, I suppose. <laughs>